this state, landlords have a legal duty to provide basic protection for their tenants. But in a security building, landlords get top dollar by offering extra protection, and they must deliver on their end of the bargain. In this case, the lock on the laundry room window had been broken for six weeks, in spite of complaints from at least two tenants. Clearly, the landlord violated his duty to the tenants by not promptly fixing that lock. But that's not the end of this case. In order for the plaintiff to prevail, she must prove that her attacker gained entry through the laundry room window. The court has heard compelling evidence that the attacker may have gained entrance by other means, by taping the lock on the security door. Now, if that were the case, the landlord would not be responsible for the attack, since under those circumstances, there would be no negligence on the landlord's part. You can't expect the landlord to check every door for tape. Now, the plaintiff has failed to meet her burden of proving that her attacker entered through the laundry room window. Therefore, judgment must be for the defendant. This court stands adjourned. Dolores Fox and her husband, Sam, moved to Miami, Florida, where they now play in a small supper club. They will have a child in the spring. Bruce Bowers was stabbed to death in a fight with another inmate in the Hamilton County Jail. Tomorrow at 9 a.m. on Mid-Morning Los Angeles, Tommy and Meredith discuss divorce, and Sally Jesse Raphael continues her series on marriage tomorrow, 12.30. Superior Court is a Ralph Edwards, Stu Billet production in association with Lorimar Telepictures. <laughs>